Hey guys, well you can see I picked myself up a surface plate. This surface plate came from MSC. Uh, lucky for me, there is a local MSC distribution center about 25 minutes away from my work. So I got off work one morning, drove over there and waited till they opened and was able to pick this up and it saved me about $118 in shipping which was really nice now this is a B2 grade surface plate it feels really nice it has the ledge I decided to go with the ledge uh, because I didn't know how I was going to mount it on a stand or what type of stand I was going to use uh, at first I was thinking that I would probably just make something out of some square tubing however I realized that I've got my stand for the Precision Matthews and I'll probably not use that uh, with this build so I may just stick it on there maybe put some wheels on the stand and that should be really nice I can put my measuring equipment and stuff like that uh, cleaner and stuff in the bottom of the stand so that should work out now some of the granite surface plates when I was shopping around uh, it was kind of confusing because some with the ledge were more expensive and at MSC it happened to be cheaper with the ledge so do your shopping around uh, Grizzly their surface plates were on back order uh, that seemed to be the best deal they were about eighty dollars for the surface plate and about eighty ninety dollars to ship so you could get away with around hundred sixty dollars at Grizzly this surface plate was a hundred and fifty five dollars at MSC however with my account and once I logged on it said it was hundred and thirty six so I ended up paying with taxes about uh, $148 something like that it comes with this certificate just says that it's been inspected and certified with a, uh, optically checked and it looks like it's uh, 0 0.00015 accuracy at 20 degrees Celsius plus or minus 5 degrees It should be good enough uh, for the work I'm going to be doing. Now I decided to go with the 18 by 24 by 3, which is probably the smallest I could use to try to check my ways on my machine. I went with this side simply because it was just a matter of space. I talked it over with Chris and Wyatt and Chris already had a smaller one but he decided to get a bigger one Wyatt decided to get the bigger one uh, they both chose to go with uh, 24 by 36 by 4 inch now just to give you a little comparison theirs was 380 pounds this is about 150 pounds so needless to say you're gonna have to hoist a bigger one around uh, this one I was able to just pick up and sit on the bench albeit it's a little heavy um, but for what I'm going to be doing and what I'm going to be using it for mainly I think this is a good size for me uh, so it's just really a matter of personal preference I think and what you're going to be doing with it to what size you're going to need now you can see that it's got a little bit of a haze on there so we're going to have to clean it overall it's very smooth uh, the corners are nice and rounded so I'm pretty impressed I'm pretty happy with uh, what we got now in doing some research I noticed that some of these were black granite some of them were pink granite or red granite I don't really know enough about them to say what the difference would be although most of the pink ones I saw were steric brand which were you know of course twice as much or more so it looks like most of the stuff that I saw was in the black granite that was a reasonable price I don't know if it's a matter of hardness or 
porous or what the situation is with between the red pink or the or the black granite but this seems to be a really nice surface plate so for the price I'm really happy with what I got uh, the certificate says it's between uh, the accuracy is 0 0.00015 but first we need to clean it now I had no idea how to clean these surface plates. Wyatt had done some research and he posted a, a link for me to check out for a video. It was from Suburban Tool. A gentleman there was uh, doing a video on cleaning the surface plate. You can go and check that video out. I'll try to post a link in the video description. It's about $10 for a surface cleaner, for a quarter surface cleaner. Uh, my buddy Chris suggested just use he uses Windex and why it suggested using pure ammonia uh, apparently ammonia does not leave a residue makes sense so I've got a combination of both I've got some glass cleaner here with ammonia in it so I'm just going to clean that and hopefully this will do the trick See, it was dirty. I don't know if paper towels is probably the best thing. It might leave a little paper behind or dust particles, but. We'll let this dry off. I did check the surface plate and there's no imperfections anywhere. It looks really pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with that overall. I'm going to get set up. We're going to get some one, two, three blocks and an indicator and we'll just kind of go around and check and see what, uh, what we come up with. You can see there's a little white mark right here. It's just a natural discoloration in the granite. Alright, well you can see now the surface plate is nice and clean and the haze is gone. So you can definitely feel the difference. It's really, really smooth. I mean, really smooth. I also took the opportunity when I picked up the surface plate to pick up a new indicator base. Uh, this one should be a lot easier to adjust and use. This one, although it worked, was a little finicky with the adjustment mechanism. and. I just decided to go with something different. All right, so I've got my indicator here set up on zero. I've got it sitting on a one, two, three block and a one, two, three block on this side just to kind of slide it around. And I just want to go around and check different points corner to corner and see where we're at. I don't know if this is the most accurate way to check it, but this is just a quick check uh, just to make sure that it is what it is. So we're on zero there. As far as I can go here. Good look at this. Sorry for the lighting, but we can see we're on zero there. We can go over here. See where we're at. Again, we're on zero. Come over here and check the center. Looks like we're in zero again.
focus there we go I don't know if the camera's not focusing or is it me all right we'll go to this corner check it looks good again And check over here. And it looks like it's zero. So I'm pretty satisfied that it's flat. I can tell you that sliding this around is really smooth. Oh, you want to kind of be careful working around your surface plate. You don't want to drop anything on there. This is the way it is when it's brand new. It's nice. It's straight. It's flat. Uh, so I want to try to be careful. I want to try to keep it covered. I think I might cut me a piece of plywood and make a little frame or something just to throw on top of it. That way if I do lay anything on there, it's not going to uh, damage the surface plate. Uh, that should be okay. I don't know if the plywood is going to cause any problems with absorbing moisture or anything like that. So I'll do a little bit more research. I know they sell padded vinyl covers for them. <clears throat> so I'll just have to check and see. Well, guys, thanks for watching the video. Um, I'm going to get it set up now. In the next video, we'll start checking some of the... Uh, castings and see where we're at for our linear rail conversion thumbs up if you like the video guys thanks for watching if you have any questions or suggestions please feel free to comment thanks for watching the video and most importantly be safe